Hey, welcome back to Mandy's Planet. So tonight I'm going to be making stuffed peppers. So let's go over my ingredients. I have two red peppers, two yellow peppers, and two orange peppers. We have some uh, ground turkey, and it's very lean ground turkey that I'm going to be using. Some ragu chunky sauce, the garden combination, so it has like all the vegetables and stuff in it. Paprika. Minced onion. Italian seasoning. And sea salt. So let's get started. So first I'm going to start off with chopping my peppers up. And I'm just going to take the tops off and then gut out the inside of the peppers. And this is really easy to do. I'm actually going to be using a spoon to help me get the inside of the pepper out. So I'm just going to pull it with my hand. And then with a the spoon, I'm going to scrape the little veiny things inside of the wall of the pepper. And I'm using a spoon because it's more gentle and it's not going to cut it like a knife would, like if I accidentally slip, you know. So here's all of my peppers and the tops I just chopped up because I'm going to be adding that into the ground turkey because I'm not going to be adding any rice or anything because I want this to be a low carb dinner. So first I'm going to put down my sauce just a little bit in the bottom of the pan to help the uh, peppers from sticking. Okay, just mix that all over the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to go ahead and place these into the pan and some of them are not standing up on their own so I'm going to try to put them in a place where like in the middle so the other two peppers can kind of hold them up. See like that one and then this one. These are the two bad ones that don't want to stand up on their own. So we're going to try to wedge them in there. Okay, so now I have my peppers placed how I want to do them. Looks pretty good. Love the beautiful bright colors too. So next we're going to start on the meat. Okay, we're going to put our eye on medium heat. We're going to add in our ground turkey. And I love ground turkey. It's much more healthier than ground beef. Yes, I love ground beef, but the flavor um, of ground turkey is just as good. And it's much healthier for you. Okay, so we got our whole two pounds in the pan. Let's go ahead and kind of break this meat down some. So we're going to start adding in our seasoning. So we're going to add in some paprika. Some Italian seasoning.
and some minced onion and the reason why I chose to use minced onion is because I didn't want to put um, fresh onion in because I didn't want it to overpower with the pepper Okay, so we got all of our seasonings on there, and we're going to let this brown up on one side for a few minutes. Oh yeah, can't forget the sea salt. So it's been cooking on that one side for a few minutes and I'm going to go ahead and get this meat turned around some. And the thing about cooking up ground turkey, it doesn't get as brown as uh, ground beef would. So you're just kind of looking for a tannish color when it you know, comes to browning up your ground turkey. So now I'm going to add in my peppers that I chopped up from the tops of the peppers. So we're going to use that in, in the place of uh, rice because it will still give it a good crunch like the rice would. Mix everything up well together. Okay, and when I was introducing the video, I forgot to show the mozzarella cheese. So this is the polio mozzarella. It's whole milk mozzarella and it is delicious. We're going to melt this on top of the stuffed peppers. Okay, so our meat is nicely browning up. Looks delicious. We're gonna go ahead and add in our ragu. We're just using the rest of that can uh, that I had put down at the bottom of the pan. Well, I guess it's a jar, not really a can. Mix this up. nice and bubbly now we're gonna add a little bit more of that sauce in and then we're gonna save some of that to put on top of the peppers I really hope that you guys will try this recipe and I hope that if you're a new watcher that you will subscribe to my channel and like and share to your friends if you think that they would enjoy my cooking videos. Okay, so while that's cooking up some more, we're going to go ahead and slice up this mozzarella to go on top of the peppers. This is a really thick mozzarella too. 
It's actually my first time having this brand. See, I'm gonna cut in a thick slice like that and then I'm gonna cut the thick slices like that in half. Okay, so here we have our peppers and we're gonna go ahead and start putting our meat in. And I probably will have some leftover meat and I'll just save that to um, eat for dinner for another day. I'm just gonna stuff these to the very top. Doesn't that look delicious already? And when I bake these, I'm just going to bake them until the pepper is fork tender. Because I do still like a little bit of a crunch to my pepper. I don't want them ob ob obliterated. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I'm trying to do the two in the middle last. Because they're the ones that I want to fall over. And if you make these, be sure to be generous with your meat inside your pepper. You want them to be delicious, don't you? This is a great meal for a low carb meal. If you're trying to cut back on some carbs to help lose a couple of pounds. I feel like these peppers are going to want to fall over either way. Let's try to move this guy again. There you go. Gonna top them off with a little bit more meat. Now we're going to go ahead and add some more of that ragu sauce on top because when it's cooking in the oven, I don't want the meat to get dried out. And if you wanted to, you could cut the cheese out of this meal. But it's absolutely delicious with the cheese on top of them. Because the ones that you get from Stouffer's, they don't have any cheese on the top. That's what made me think of that. So here's my cheese that I cut up earlier. We're going to go ahead and place... Two to three slices to each pepper. I'm thinking of it. Go ahead and let's go ahead and preheat the oven. We're gonna put it on 400. And I bake this for about 35 minutes. 
But you can go 40 if you want a little bit longer. So these are all ready to go into the oven. Yum. Got some leftover cheese. And I only used the one block of that cheese. I didn't use both of them. Okay, let's go ahead and pop these babies in. you guys how much it's raining So good they two of them did fall over but I'm not gonna worry about that I'm just gonna be eating them anyways let's see if we can get a close-up so that's my stuffed peppers so I hope that if you guys like this video please like subscribe and share and this is a locale stuffed peppers because I did not put the rice in it. And I will put a few pictures up too. Yum! Thanks for watching Mandy's Planet.